Okay, welcome to another Orbiter 2010 video. And right away you're seeing a bit of sort of streamception type of thing where I've got video within video within video. And the reason I'm doing that is because I wanted to address a question that has come up a few times. People ask me how to set up Open Broadcaster for use with Orbiter so that basically the, the quality doesn't suck. The uh, default options that you have in in an open broadcaster really aren't suited too well for uh, recording like HD video to your hard drive. Uh, the program is m it's kind of made for people who stream their content out to the internet. Uh, you know, if you go to twitch.tv, you can see you know people that stream their video games. And in order to stream your video games, you kind of want a lower uh, a lower bit rate and such so that it doesn't uh, consume so much a band so much bandwidth uh, you'll, you'll get lag and stuff like that and people won't watch your video people won't watch your stream if it's lagging really bad so let me uh, go full screen here so we can see a little bit better and what you want to do let me actually go to the uh, full screen here this way that way you have a really crazy streamception and you want to go to the settings and uh, I'll have to watch this video playback to see if this is working but in settings you want to first go to encoding and most people probably have already found this and they've set the quality balance to 10 and have seen that that this still gives you video quality that's kind of crummy so you want the quality balance of 10 but you also want to uh, click use custom buffer size over here and then the uh, max bit rate you might want to have it a little bit lower you know 5000 works pretty well um, I've got ample hard drive space so I'm not too worried about it I'd rather have even higher quality so I have the uh, bit rate set for 7500 and the uh, buffer size at 10,000 and I prefer to have the audio encoding as high as it can be uh, you can certainly get away with, you know, 256, 192, maybe even, you know, 160, 128, but the audio portion of a, of a file is, is quite small compared to the video. So again, I would just rather have maximum quality. Now the, uh, the catch or the key to having a high quality uh, local recording is to go into, I believe it's the video tab, no, it's advanced, and you'll want to click uh, down here where it says custom x264 encoding encoder settings and you want to type in c r f that's uh, charlie romeo foxtrot equals and then some number between um, i forget the value range but the default i believe is 20 so if you have it set at 20, then uh, if you, or rather if you don't have this set at all, then it will default to CRF of 20. And then anything lower than 20 is better. Uh, you can get all the way down to uh, CRF of, you know, you know, a very low number, but then you end up with really ridiculous file sizes. So CRF of 13, I find, is a pretty good compromise. If, you, if hard drive space is at a premium on your system, you might want to set this to 15, 16, 17, something like that. And you can also see here that I have uh, this setting to, you know, very fast. I've always left that as it is. I don't know that it needs to be changed. And then the encoding profile is high. And that's about it, really. It was mainly, it was mainly this setting here that I found uh, when I was originally looking at Open Broadcaster. And I was recording videos or doing test test recordings, and all the qual the quality was terrible. When you would move the camera around, it was pixelated and blotchy. It was horrible, and I couldn't figure out why that was. But once I found this setting here, you know, CRF equals and then some number, then uh, that's what helped me out. I think at one point I played around with the the frame rate as well, and it was bad. I I found out that I shouldn't do that because I was when I was uploading videos to YouTube, they were the audio was out of sync, and I found uh, basically, you know, if you go to I think it's encoding, no, where's that video? Yeah, here you can set your FPS. This is your frames per second, 
And if you and what I found, and maybe it's changed since then, but when I, I tried to originally have this at 60, because I thought 60 frames per second would be, you know, make for smoother looking video. But when I did that and uploaded the video to YouTube, the audio was out of sync by, and it would get farther and farther out of sync. So by the time you got 30 minutes into the video, you know, my lips were moving two minutes behind the video or something like that. So that is a quick look at uh, the settings that I use and just kind of going through everything here to let you have a look. You can pause the video if you want to take a closer look at this stuff. Microphone no no noise gate. I don't think I've ever toggled that or set that to anything. So there you have it. If you like the video, uh, hit the like button down below. And if you didn't like the video, hit the uh, don't like button. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and I will see you in the next video.